Good morning everybody, Silas back again today. We've got a busy day ahead of us. As I've mentioned in the last couple videos, I am getting ready in just a couple days to go on a three day camping trip. Before I can do that though, I've got a lot of stuff I gotta get done, so I figured what I do is I just bring the camera along with me and I'd record the next couple days and put it all together into one video. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. I know I've got some antique trucks coming in. I've gotta load some crushed cars. I'm probably gonna have to crush a few more cars. I've got some other stuff going on, so I've just got a wide arrangement of things going on. With that being said, Let's get busy. First thing that's probably gonna happen today is that guy is on his way to pick up this nose. He should be here in about 20 minutes. Uh, that old tailgate, everything I cut off in that last video I made. I believe, no, I can't really see the tailgate, but it's just an old, uh, probably late 40s, early 50s Chevy truck step side tailgate. And then I got this old nose. I think this came off of a 57, I wanna think it was. Yeah, I think it was a 56 or 57 Chevy. But he should be here in a minute, so we'll get these out of here, get those loaded up into his truck and then I'm gonna fire up the equipment and get busy working. Last time I was here at this yard, I started working my way this direction. I wasn't recording that day, so you guys didn't see me get started on it, but I've got a bunch of cars in this row here. I'd love to get out of here while prices are still decent. I mean, they did drop pretty hard already, and they're probably gonna drop more, but even still, it's higher than I was selling them for, you know, four months ago. So it's all a matter of perspective, I guess, but I've got this whole line of cars that reaches up and around, and there's a truck and a car back here I really wanna dig out, so hopefully I can get that done within the next month or so. They come all the way around this backside back here. And here's one of the cars I want to dig out. I forget what year this old Chevy is, but it's actually sold if I get it out. Pretty cool car. It's got some hail damage on the visor, but overall it's still a really neat car. All this car really needs is it needs a back window in it. I think it'll run and drive with just a little bit of tinkering. What is this, a 52, three, something like that? I don't know. If you know what year that is, let me know in the comments. Then the other vehicle I want to dig out is the 1970 Dodge Crew Cab that I have back here. It is very rough, but I'm having a hard time finding a better one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to dig that one out and maybe possibly have somebody start working on the body on it. The front clip is pretty well toast on this thing, but I have another one with a really good front clip, so I'm not too worried about that. It's got all the doors and the seats and all the crew cab parts. And what's really cool about this truck, if I can get over here, is, I mean, it's just an old D200 work truck, crew cab. Usually these are pretty plain Jane. Boom. But this truck has factory AC, it has an automatic, it has power steering, power brakes, all that. Now this is the bad part of the truck, is the floors in this thing are gone. So it needs all new floor pans, body mounts, the whole nine yards. And you can buy all that stuff new, but just the parts alone are going to cost around, I think around $1,500 uh, to fix all the... There's some other rusty spots as well, but around $1,500 plus labor. So it's going to be kind of expensive to fix the floors in this one. That's why I was kind of hoping to find one that was a little bit better, but it is what it is. But an old crew cab Dodge of this body cell is kind of my dream truck. That's what I want more than anything else. So I guess if I have to put the money into something, it might as well be this one. I'd love to have somebody come in here, cut all these trees down and put stump killer on the stumps. But man, everybody I've hired, I've hired three people to do it now and then they never show up. So I don't know exactly what to do. I mean, I say, you name your price. They name their price. I say, sounds good, do it. And then they don't do it. So it's not like I offered them a cheap price or something like that. It was their price. But... If nothing else, I'll come in here one of these days, crush most of these cars, and then I'll just take them to the loader and rip all these out.
All right, I am done crushing cars for a little bit. I've got to run out to my place, and I've got a really cool old truck on the way in. Skyler went and got it for me yesterday, and I don't know exactly what it is. It was cheap, and it was on Facebook Marketplace, so I said grab it. So he grabbed it, and he should be out there about the same time I get there. We'll get it unloaded, and I'll show it to you. Made it out here. I'm just going to grab this truck here, set it back over where it used to be. Over yonder. Sometime I need to come out here and organize this place. I need to process all these stupid compressors. I need to get all the radiators out of them. Every single one of them has a big copper radiator in it, and they are a pain to get out. But I just need to take the time and get it done. I'm out here at my place now. My dad just dropped this thing off. It is a rust bucket deluxe. I think it's a 74 Lincoln Continental. I mean, look at that thing. You can stick your hand down through the top of this thing. It's so rusty. Probably the rustiest one I think I've ever seen. But it does have a few good parts on it. It's got good taillights on the back. The turn signals on the front are good. The uh, little marker lights down there on the fender, those are good. So it's got a few odds and ends dash parts, just little trinkets here and there. And I don't have time to pull them right now, so I'm going to stash it out back, worry about it another day. And here's what I came out here mainly to buy, is this truck right here. My buddy Skyler just dropped it off. Pretty cool truck, and it's a 3800. When he sent me pictures of it, I thought it was a big truck, but this is just a one ton. So that means it has the small front clip on it. It's in pretty good shape, really. Got a couple dents in the fenders. Kind of beat up a little bit, but still, I mean, it is the small front clip, so it's definitely worth fixing. It's got a nice chrome bumper on it. It's got the motor in it still, the old 216. The radiator's gone. I'm sure the motor's locked up. The cab's in pretty good condition. It's got kind of creased in up here. That's typical. These doors fold open too far, and it creases it in but not that much rust. The passenger cab corner has a tiny bit of rust in it, but the floors are all good. I think over there on that side, yeah, up there by the heater where the fender bolts of the cab is rusted out just a tiny bit, but not nearly as bad as they usually are. But yeah, I think somebody will probably buy this whole cab and front clip. They're still in really good condition, all things considered. And if nobody buys it, then I'll get out the torch here in a few months and I'll chop the nose off and send it down to Texas. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure somebody will buy this whole cabin clip. Just because that's all matching patina and it's not in too bad a condition. So, I want to try to sell it that way first. Now I've got to hit the road again. I've got to get back to the yard. i got people wanting to bring cars in. I had a few people supposed to be there this morning that never did show up. So, I don't know if they're going to wait until I'm gone and then call me and say where you at or <laughs> what's going to happen there. But, I guess that's their problem, not mine. I'm going to head back to the, oh, I just noticed that, back here. I meant to show this to you guys sooner, this is pretty neat, this is a Comanche. This one's pretty rough, but where we got this one, there's another one that's complete, and this was the parts truck to fix the other one. So I'm thinking about taking the other one and trying to get it going again, it's the same thing as a Jeep, just it has a truck bed instead of a Jeep body on it. So I'm hopefully I can get one of them going, get the other one going, and use it for a yard truck out here. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted, but anyway, I'm going to head back to the yard, uh, probably crash a few more cars, and then I've got to come back out here again later and do some more stuff, but I do know I have a couple people wanting to bring some cars in, so I'm going to go back over there so I can unload them. It's only like a seven minute drive from here to there, so if I just have to run out here real quick, you know, like I did just now to unload that truck, it's not that big of a deal. Really wish I would have had the time to dig the crusher out and bring it out here and crush this pile of cars out, because that, I don't remember how many's in that pile, but there's probably a couple hundred. Would have been nice to get all those gone, but oh well, another day. Well, it's about time for me to head out today. I've got a bunch of stuff to do this evening, but I'm thinking we're gonna see if this thing here will crush. 
I don't know if it'll crush or not. It's kind of a mystery for me. It's an old round baler is what it is for baling hay. It's got a lot of heavy steel framework on it. The main thing I think that's going to be an issue is these beams right here for the wheels. I think that might be the biggest issue. So I don't know if it's going to crush or not, but I guess we'll find out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is going to crush or do you think it's not going to crush? When I crush this, I'm not going to stand anywhere near it just in case something decides to fly out of there. You just never know when you're crushing stuff. I crushed a cement mixture one time and a spring popped off of that and hit dead center of the windshield. And if that would have came through the windshield, it would have probably knocked my teeth out or even worse possibly. So <laughs> when I push the down button, I am going to disappear. Wow, I am absolutely in shock. Like, I was not expecting that. That actually bottomed out. The crusher bottomed out. It can't go any lower than what it did because of the cylinders. So it crushed that thing flat, flat. It would crush it even flatter if I put something else in on top of it. Unfortunately, it did kind of bow out on the sides a little bit. I was not expecting those to fold quite that easy, but they barely even hesitated. Check that out. If I get out of the sunlight, it just ripped that steel like it was nothing. There's some serious power in this machine. 2400 PSI. Yeah, it flattened that thing out good. I'm sure I can wad that up a little bit with the loader and I'll make it fit in the dumpster. I'll ship it out when I get back from my trip. That was definitely a cool experience. I don't think I've ever crushed one of these now that I think about it. I've crushed a lot of square balers through the years, but I don't think I've ever crushed a round baler. So that was pretty cool. As I was leaving, my dad dropped the van off and it looks like it has some money in it. Let's see here, we got a penny. A Dime, another penny. Looks like two more pennies down here. Nothing much. Yeah, I found a few cents at least. I'm done for the day now. I've got to go grocery shopping, get all my grocery shopping done tonight. And I came in here because I was looking for a drop hitch for my truck because the truck I'm going to be taking out there, you guys haven't seen it yet. I've actually had it for five months now, almost five months. And it's about eight inches higher than the truck I'm driving right now so I was hoping to find a drop hitch that way I could carry my trailer and keep it level but unfortunately I can't seem to find one everything I seem to have is about a two inch drop so it'll be okay it's just gonna sit at a little bit of an angle on the way up there somewhere I have about a six inch drop hitch but I've never used it I found it in a car and I thought I'll need that someday and that was years ago and so who knows where in the world I put that but anyway I'm gonna head out for the day I will see you guys in the morning and we'll see what we can get into tomorrow and good morning we are back again first thing i'm gonna do is load up some firewood i got all this for free it's all been kiln dried it's good dry wood should burn pretty good it's all untreated so i don't have to worry about chemicals going into the food we cook over the fire or anything like that I didn't even think of that. I've never used the trailer hitch on this truck before. It's got a three inch receiver and all I have is two inch hitches. So, looks like I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy a three inch hitch. I was not planning on spending that money today, but I guess it is what it is. I'm back at the yard now and they're here to load cars. They were not supposed to be here until this afternoon, but I guess they got here early. It's only 9.30 and they're here. So <laughs> I'm gonna get the loader out and luckily I just got here and they got here at the same time. So it worked out perfect. I'll get the loader out and we'll start loading.
All right, we got the second truck loaded out. I didn't record that one. You guys saw me load the first one, and I honestly just forgot to record it. <laughs> it's it's lunch hour, and I'm getting hungry, so I was ready to leave, and she showed up, so I just got it loaded real quick. I got one load left back there, but they said they are not going to have time to come back and get that one today. So prices drop tomorrow. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so we'll just worry about that next week. We'll see what prices do between now and then. I've got one truck bed left over at the transmission shop across the street. He came up with another truck bed of, of just scrap metal that he found laying around the shop. So I've got to go get that before I leave. So I'm going to do that now, come back, weigh it, and then I'm going to get something to eat myself. And there goes that load of cars. There's only four cars in there. I didn't crush those. I just threw them in there to get them out of the way real quick. It's only been 45 minutes since I said I was going to go get lunch, and now I'm finally going to get some lunch. I honestly probably won't come back to this yard other than to lock the gate after he's done dropping that dumpster back off. And there we go. I was just going to buy a whole nother hitch like this with a bigger drop, but they didn't have any with a big drop. And even one like this with a three inch receiver was almost a hundred dollars. And I thought, man, that's just a little bit rich for my blood. So I went ahead and grabbed this here, this adapter. I think this was $42. It's not super high quality, but it's 12,000 pound capacity. That's more than this thing weighs for sure. I think this is going to work perfect. It is in fact not going to work perfect. It doesn't fit in there. It's the exact same size as that. The size I need is just this piece. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have to figure this one out. So a little bit ago, I got on one of the Facebook pages dedicated to these trucks and I made a complaint and they said, hey, check in the glove box. That's where mine was, it came from the dealer with an adapter. So I check in the glove box and what do you know? The dealer just never bothered to tell me about it. And I only need one pin because it just goes through right through the center of everything. So <laughs> problem solved, I'll take that other one back when I get back to town. And there we go, we're in business, good to go. All right, guys, it is late at night. I've got just about everything loaded up, ready to go, except for the stuff that has to stay cold. I'll put that in the cooler and I'll head out first thing in the morning. But that's all for this one. All that'll be a separate video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. And I'm for sure going to find an adventure over the next few days. We'll see you next time.